Let's hit the button. Oh, fuck, my controller. I was playing, I forgot I was playing Budokai last night. Uh, BRB! <laughs> There we go. So professional. Uh, you do it. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I try to get you to do it all the time, but no. Somebody refuses. Anyways. Alright. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Muso mode. I'm probably going to butcher a lot of pronunciations. Free mode and options. It's been a long, long time since I've played any of these games. This is probably going to be bad. Game options. Difficulty. Default. Exit. <laughs> Good. Good options. Um, bow type? I guess reverse. That must be for, like, the aiming. That all looks fine. Records? We don't have any, so... Screen adjust. There we go. This should be... Oddly very off. I was gonna say <laughs> this should be more or less good, but no. It actually needed adjusted. Okay. That looks good. Brightness is at its best when the grayscale to the left of screen center can be seen. Uh, I mean, it, I can't see all of it. I can see up to like halfway past red. And then it just all looks black. Is that fine, game? I hope that's fine. I don't know. I need to go through the list again to see what there is to vote on. Then go through the list. Love, it's there. It's always there, available to be looked at. And we also look at it before every uh, PS2 stream. If you just paid a little bit of attention. But it's fine, you know? <laughs> just picking on you, love. I don't remember. It is not. I keep the number of like actual games that we're playing pretty short. There's only, like, 73 games or something like that. And half of those are, you know, marked not playing right now because of copyright reasons. So, <laughs> how am I supposed to read it when it's behind your big head? What? Oh, what do you mean whenever we're looking at Bro, you can still see it. It is not, like, that hidden. Chill. <laughs> These two dudes are, like, exactly the same. In terms of, like, stats. I'm thinking somebody with high life and decent attack. Guan Yu looks pretty decent. Zhao Dun looks a little more even. Dion Wei? Wei? I like the horse head shield that he's got there. Um, I think he looks like he's probably a lot faster, these little dudes. But yeah, I think we're going to play this guy, Guan Yu. I don't remember anything about the different factions and whatnot. I'm pretty sure that's what the the little symbol is that's like green, blue, or red. I think it has to do with like which this faction you're playing. Four, as, under, the Yellow Turban Rebellion, Spring, 184 AD. Oh, yeah, mobile would make it hard to see. Well, there's always the link. Just exclamation mark PS2. That'll get you the link so you can see it. Or go to the link tree, of course. Ooh, such map. Okay, background. In the spring of the year 184, Zhang Jiao raised the Chinese people against the decadent and corrupt Han Dynasty. Followers of Zhang proudly wore yellow cloths around their heads. Thus was born the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The beleaguered Han sent out their call for help and ordered a campaign against the Yellow Turbans, who numbered in the hundreds of thousands. From all across the country, brave men and women stood to answer this call of duty. Their stories, their legends are about to begin. 
Okay, conditions. Maximum time, 100 minutes. Defeat Zhang Zhao. Uh, if he Jin dies, we lose. Guess that's all we really need to know. Allies? I'm not going to remember all this, so... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Enemies, same sort of thing. I'm not going to remember all this. I just need to remember that Zhang Zhao is the one that we need to kill to actually win. Private? I guess that's us. Alright, fight! Let's just get into it, man. I don't know. Why not? Right? Easily one of the most technically impressive action games ever. It is technically impressive. From the, like, sheer number of people. Although I feel like probably less so, you know, now. But when they came out, for sure. One quick thing. Sorry. I've noticed that... I feel like I've been getting some de-interlacing stuff. Um, Like artifacting. I don't know, did my settings get changed at some point? Ah! The interlacer. No, it's on motion adaptive. Mm, just defaults fine. Weird. Okay, tell you what, just load. I'll just reload it and we'll just see if that changes it or not. <clears throat> it might not. Alright. Wu Yan has begun a battle with somebody. We can probably ignore like some of the little tiny groups of people. Oh. Okay, so triangle is like some sort of power attack. Circle seems to charge something another. Oh, that purple bar down there. I don't know what... Oh, okay. That must be for a bow. This is like some sort of lock-on for strafe and stuff. That changes our map. Oh, big dude. Name dude. Kill him. Try to kill him. Get him off the horse. How do you jump? X. Okay. Is there like an actual lock-on? rude I have no idea like if we have combos or anything whoa hold up are there two named dudes over here okay this is rude uh <laughs> I'm guessing this is like an ultimate we probably should have used that against one of their big dudes not just uh like a nobody but one other thing I do kind of remember is there's, like, gates. And if you kill, like, the captain or guard of the gate or whatever, then people can't come through that one anymore. Which is obviously, like, a very good thing. I don't remember when that was introduced or if that was always a thing or whatever, though. Southgate has been cleared. Yeah, okay. We double jump or anything? No. I like how they, like, very carefully pick the camera angle here. So that it's not super obvious how little there is in the distance to see. <laughs> but, like, if you actually look, you cannot see very far at all. I think if you break these things open, it's possible for you to find, like, items and stuff. Yeah, life recovery. Yeah, I remember things. Okay, a purple, I think, is on our side, right? It's just the, the yellow turban army or whatever that we're actually fighting. Yeah, here we go. Gate captain. Okay, so if we kill him, then I think... Yeah, so we secure the gate. So I'm pretty sure that means now that, like, nobody else can come through it. Like, uh, on the enemy side. Which should help us win, like, in the long run or whatever. Like, by keeping the morale of our troops up sort of deal. Do 
Do we have? Oh, we do have arrows. Okay. I didn't even know we had, like, bows and arrows, to be honest with you. Oh, more life? Gimme, please, thank. How do we change map? Here we go. <clears throat> I mean, like, this area is probably fine. We can probably leave. Now, our morale's slowly dropping. If we take out more of their captains or whatever, I think that'll do more for us in the long run than staying here will. And just clearing out all the little dudes. Yeah, see, we need to, like, help clear out all this. Look how red this area is. These dudes are, are not having a good time over here. There you go. Now his morale's dropping. That's what we want to see, man. Rude. We are losing health pretty quickly, though. Is there... Okay, well, there's another pickup. That'll help a ton. Is there... Like a block button? There doesn't seem to be. There's a lot more health pickups, though. Perfect. I wonder where, like, the closest captain is. Or gate. The gate's probably, like, this way. If we head over this way, we might be able to find a gate and close it off so we stop getting more waves of people like this. Again, if we can kill their captains, too. You. You with the fancy clothes. <laughs> like round them up a little bit you know get them aggroed and then destroy them as a big group instead of picking them out one at a time i don't know how long items like stay on the ground but there was yeah big life up you Get him off the horse. Where'd he go? Come back here, you dick. Where is he? Damn him. Is this... Will this hit him? Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Yes. Let's go. Get down here, Bojong. I have no idea where he's at. Oh, my God. There's way too many people over here right now. It's fine. There he is. Bodyguard has died in battle? Is that like our bodyguard? Who the hell is bodyguard? Where'd he go? I want bow. Bro. Why does Bo keep hiding from me? Let's go! Get wrecked, Bo. Our morale is skyrocketing. That's what we want to see, man. Oh. Oh, we got another gate open. Nice. Now, if their, like, morale drops low enough, don't they, like, start to run or something? I still don't know what these, like, bodyguards or dying messages are about. Oh, we can, like, hold circle to keep that going longer. Very cool. Okay. I need defense. That's nice. That's not what I was hoping for, though. What I really want is some health or health ups or anything along those lines. 
Permanent health grades, health upgrades, if that's a thing, would be actually very handy. Oh, that's full health? Alright, I don't think we need to worry about these, like, onesie twosie people. But if there's another... Yeah, gate captain. See all these people running through here? If we don't deal with them, we would just be fighting these dudes forever. They'll just keep coming. At least that's how I understand it. Whereas if we kill that dude... Then now it's our gate. So now he can't have anybody come through here. Anymore. Unless they, like, take the gate back somehow, which I'm sure is possible to do. But it's got to be harder to, like, take a gate back than to just hold it. I would imagine. See, the big difference between, like, this and Drakengard... Drakengard has a better story. This runs so much better... <laughs> <laughs> than Drakengard does. <laughs> Which is just... Man, I want to like Drakengard so bad, but... I just can't get into it, man. It's just... It's not great on a technical level. Sure. Why are we saving? Did we pick up a, a save item? Anyways, it's not great on a technical level, and that really, like, hampers the gameplay experience. It just feels like a, a worse version of this game. Oh, shit. We're getting... Oh, God. We got stunned. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. We stunned the general or whatever. But... We also kind of got stunned ourselves. Now, can we use our special move? No, we cannot. Only when it's full. So we can choose how much to use it. Whether we want to use, like, a full bar or just a little bit like that. But we cannot just use it at any point. Do one of you guys, like, maybe want to drop some health or something? I would really appreciate it, honestly. Oh, I saw health. Noise. Not full, but still a decent amount. Honestly, I wonder, like... Sure, we get bigger numbers if we just kill these dudes. But I feel like we should just be searching for the captains. Like, those dudes over there. And dealing with them, because that'll hurt their morale. Is it possible to guard somehow? Because I, I noticed he was guarding when we were trying to attack him. Ow. Jesus Christ. Okay. We need to run away. Sorry. Sorry. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to die. I need, I need health. Is there like a pickup? You're too far ahead. Draw back. My bad. Okay, I'm coming back. Oh, God. <laughs> I need... I need health. Real bad, man. Hey, we secured another gate. Let's go. Good for us. Did you happen to drop health when I just killed you? No. Any of you want to drop health? Ah, oh, a little bit. Let's go. Another gate opening. Very cool. That just means the, the CPU is making moves. Hey, Queen B five five two. Thank you for the follow, man. Queen five fifty two for following. Where health? Anybody? This is my roomie that I just moved. Ah, you're making him follow everyone I follow. Secret so one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice, dude. Well, hello to roomie. If uh, 
if Rumi is there with you at the moment. And uh, hello and congrats, Ru. I hope you're enjoying the new place, man. Oh, can we maybe, like, get up on the rafter thingies here? Whatever the thing, whatever this shit's called. I don't know. My mind doesn't work. It just There's got to be, like, health around here somewhere, right? Anywhere? Very tired, but yes. And I'm on his laptop because mine is dead. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, okay. That armor will help a ton. But yeah, no, I can I can only imagine that, like, after moving all day and shit, that you'll be tired as hell, man. Like, I hate moving. I really, really do. It's never a fun time. The only fun part about it is, like, getting to, you know, enjoy the new place. Because, like, once you're all moved in, that feels nice, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But the rest of it just sucks. Get him. Don't let him up. Just get him. Oh, you're a bastard. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he stunned? Let's go. Pay one is a dick. And we're dying, but... Still have to organize our shit, though. It's a mess in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Noodle and I have been living in the house we're in now for, like, eight years. And honestly, I don't think we ever really unpack. Right? We just kind of, like... Collected new shit. <laughs> and put that shit places. <laughs> Half the shit that we moved here with, I'm pretty sure, is still in the same boxes it came here in. Boxes, bags, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> Ooh, health. Please and thank. Yes, we're... Wink. <laughs> A mess. <laughs> oh my god, man. I'm seriously gonna die, though, if we don't find, like, an actual... health pickup somewhere. Like, a full health pickup or something. I'm just picking on you, Noodle. You're fine, love. Oh my god. I've filled up my uh, humidifier. I'm really hoping that helps a bit. Uh, and that I'm not getting like sick sick like Noodle. Man, I really wish our ultimate did just more damage. Because, like, our ultimate's good for, like, making a hole. But it doesn't actually, like, hurt people much, you know? This isn't, like, fair. <laughs> the gay captain's all the way over there. I cannot hit him. I just want to kill him, damn it. Ah, uh, before he kills me. Okay. Did we get him? Is he dead? Yes. Okay. We've got him. Now, we have to find some fucking health, dude, or we're going to die. Overkill is to... Always. Always. <laughs> Where the hell, though? Bro, we're going to die. Seriously. There's got to be some stuff to pick up somewhere some barrels or something we're not allowed to get like too far ahead without getting yelled at but maybe if we go because we started in the south but they got these gates over here open on the uh western side so maybe we can like sneak through them gates there's a barrel or barrel box whatever the hell that thing's called also it's nice to properly meet you queen <laughs> yes i will save again i guess I don't remember saving in the middle of this game before. I thought it was just in between, like, fights. Ah, who shot me? That was... I thought this was open. Oh, God. There's a lot of people over here. Oh, wait. I have full health. Let's go. <laughs> I guess maybe when you save, you just get full health. Like, I mean, that's a pretty nice bonus for saving. It's so trash. I do not like our ultimate at all. I don't know if that's something we can customize later or what, but gonna have to have to see. Gonna have to try. Save well and save often. Every time you see a save point, hit that thing, man. 
Or you'll have a repeat of like when I was playing Red Faction. Find out an hour or something into the game that there are no checkpoints. And now you just have to start the whole thing over again because <laughs> you didn't save. Which is not a fun time. Oh, I saw help. <laughs> right? It was. I just. I never expected it, you know? Because, like, pretty much every game, other than, I'd say, JRPGs that I've played in my life, has checkpoints littered throughout it just automatically. But, uh, not Red Faction. Red Faction just said, fuck you, dude. You don't want to save? Then sucks to be you, I guess. Okay, that's cool. So can we just, like, jump over here? <laughs> we can. Okay. I guess this works. We're kind of locked on this side now until the gate opens up. Ooh, defense up. That's nice. Just, I could have swore they had already gotten the gate up, which is what confuses me. It's like, we saw the camera come over here at one point and do something. I don't know. I guess not. How is this one dude holding back our, like, entire forces over here? We have two captains fighting this one. And somehow this one captain's winning. I guess I just have to do everything around here. That should open the gate, though, right? <laughs> Hopefully there's some way back over there. <laughs> like, There we go. Okay. It's open now. Uh, is that here? Yeah, there, where everybody's running through at. Oh, wait, is there another gate over here, though? There's a lot of dudes, like... Do we have a map? Like, a proper view of the map? I already know the conditions for victory. Is there a way to just, like... Look at the map? Not really, no. Hmm. Hmm, we're gonna head to bed. We are sleepies. We will stop in for the watch streak real quick, though. Night, guys. Good night! It's night meeting you again, Queen. And, uh, Rue, I hope you enjoy the new house. Getting out of your old place was honestly probably the best thing you could do. So, <laughs> have a good night, guys. Is there. No, we already, we already killed the gate captain over here, right? Yes, okay. So we should be good. Now we just need to start pushing towards, like, the main dude. How much time do we have left? Surely. Oh, 81 minutes, 3 seconds. We are fine. It's only been 18 minutes. I mean, it's the first mission of the game, I guess. I'd be more surprised if it was, like, difficult, difficult. But no, we're, we're good. We Gucci bros. Why is, is, like, nobody pushing forward, though? Get your asses up here. Are you waiting for me? Am I the general? I think we're all kind of screwed if that's the case. Oh, my God. You're all a dicks. Stun him. Hit him. Hit him. Let's go. Oh, you're... Bastard. Let's go. Get him. No, don't get me. Get him. Which one is he? Is he... He's this one. Okay. I wish the, like, names would stay over his head a little bit more. Like, even when we're close to him or whatever. Oh, I want that health. Okay. I have no idea where he's at right now. Hey! He dead. Now, is it possible to find, like, another save point? Because that would actually be pretty cool. I don't think there's any more gates from the look at it. But there's definitely some sort of skirmish going on over here that we could probably help clear out. Ooh, and there might be some collectibles. Health. That's always a good collectible. 
And I wonder, like, I've played a little bit of Fire Emblem whatever, the, uh, the Dynasty Warriors style Fire Emblem game. I wonder, like, in that one, you level up even if, like, you don't win the battle or whatever. Just by, like, you know, doing shit. Wait, did he just pick up an attack times two for 30 seconds? I hope not. Anyways, I was just, is that, is, I wonder if it's the same thing here. That's all I was saying. Oh my god, I attacked Zhang Fei instead of Zhang Man Chang. Chang, Chang? Zhang Man Chang? Where is he anyways? I'm just swinging randomly because I can't find this dude. No! I defeated him. Fuck you. That was mine. I don't care what anybody says. All right, um, nobody up here of note. Nah, just a couple randoms. We can go this way though. Surely there's some sort of general or whatever watching the pass here, right? Oh. Okay, so we literally cannot come this way. So we're going to have to go the other direction and, like, sneak up behind him or something. Now, is his forces, like, coming down the mountain, though? They are, aren't they? That's rude. Okay, well, let's hurry up and get behind him so that we can, you know, deal with him real quick. Gets behind him, he just turns around, blows us again. Wait, <laughs> you know what I mean. You accomplished the good ending for Cyberpunk. Congrats, man. Now do it again, <laughs> but the gooder ending. Got the good, now you gotta get the gooder and then you can get the best. That's how it works, right? got best ending possible mm, seems awfully subjective my guy what if I want everyone to die I have no idea what the endings are for that game by the way I'm just I'm just saying shit so don't mind me okay is bro oh oh this looks this looks dangerous <laughs> This looks really bad. There we go, dude. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta, like, get him up against a wall. Ow. That was awfully rude of you to do. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I need the camera to flip around, please. Oh, hi. I didn't realize we, we had the option of health bars. I'm not even sure how I got the health bars up, to be honest, but... Wait, did Zhang Bao get all of his health back? Did I just see a full health bar on him? How'd you get all your health back, sir? Oh god, I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here. Excuse me, excuse me, don't mind me running <laughs> away. Anyway. Oh my god. Okay, actually gonna die, running away, running away. Friendlies, come help, <laughs> please. So what button does that? That button does that, okay. Does anybody here maybe want to drop some health for me? I would very much appreciate if you did. More personal preference for like two of them, but one of them is definitely a bad ending in general. That's the one I want then. The one that's definitely bad ending. No questions asked. I'm just killing some of these little dudes because I'm hoping they'll drop health. I don't know how rare it actually is for a health drop. But I know they can drop useful things. 
Uh, sadly, in our case, it doesn't look like they dropped anything useful or otherwise. It's what you got on your first playthrough? No shit, dude. I would love to help his troops over there, my guy, but like, I'm dying myself is the problem, you see? If you could give me a health drop, then I would gladly help you win. Oh my god, they're all coming for me already. Not even in a good way. There's so many of them, bro. Okay, yeah, just... <laughs> Just running away. <laughs> oh my god. The way that dude just like flew back out of nowhere. That was great. Is that a save? That's a save! Let's go! Okay. So I think... I think that's a uh, full heal, right? Yes! Okay. Was nice to Johnny too quickly? That's a thing? Gotta remember, I played very little of Cyberpunk. I know who Johnny is, more or less. But I know nothing about him. I didn't even know, like, being nice or mean to him was an option. <laughs> Not doing enough side stuff doesn't surprise me. Like, I can see that being a factor in the ending that you get or whatever, but... But being nice or mean to Johnny, I, yeah, I didn't know that was a, even an option, my guy. Cow Cow has been gun combat with Zhao Ling. I'm still trying to help the dude that's like blowing, <laughs> blowing our forces right now. <laughs> trying to help the dude. I'm trying to kill the dude that's blowing our forces right now. Hmm. Not much better, is it? You can taste a bit better than earlier? Hell yeah, love. Congrats. That's awesome. Hopefully that means you're getting better. Yo, Zhang Bao. My one and only goal in life right now. Nice, okay. He's dead, which I think means that all of our dudes can come up the hill now, right? Because they're not blowing us anymore. I think. Right? Yes! It's ending! Okay. So now we can make our ascent up the, up the mountain here. Which means we should be getting back up to all the other troops very soon. Good bit of side stuff, but not the right ones. Yeah, the interactions with him matter to an extent from what you understand. The friendly too quickly, it doesn't give certain triggers. What? That just seems weird to me, but whatever. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, that's what, like, our special meter's called? M Muso or whatever? However the hell you pronounce that word? Honestly, like, it fills so quickly, I think getting a refill on that isn't really worth it, but whatever. All right, there's like three other big skirmishes that seem to be happening right now. And I'm pretty sure our dudes have this one. Look how many troops we have just like chilling back there though that haven't moved forward for some reason. That's what I don't get, like. Like if they would move forward, we could probably do this a lot more easily. Zhao Dun's killed 50 dudes. Good job, I've killed 304. Where's the next general at? Um, oh, there's two gates over there. Um, there's also two gates in front of me. I'm going to get these two gates because I'm already over here. 
Why are they not moving through the pass over there, though? That seems odd. Oh. Magic. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to come from behind again the other way, yeah. Or risk being essentially crushed to death. Yeah, Zhao Dun, you got the right idea. Stay back there. We will come from behind. I'm just kind of trying to follow the left wall. I wish we had, like, a horse or something to move around a bit more quickly, a bit more easily. Why's everybody just chilling over there, man? They're, like, a big dude over here or something? No, it's just a little tiny force of, like, five people. Why are you all cowering? Move forward, you dumbasses. Good miss on me. They all dead? I think so. Alright, our goal is the gate specifically. There's no big dudes over here or anything. We just want to stop more troops from coming in. That'll make it much easier for us to, like, stay pushed forward once we get pushed forward. Because in theory, our dudes should be able to push forward on their own. Just, you know, slowly. Because obviously, like, <laughs> by the way, that one dude was really uh, partying about getting 50 kills. They... <laughs> Obviously, they don't have the same sort of efficiency that we have in our in our mass murder. Can't help but notice, though, that our health is really low again. So if anybody wants to drop some more health or another save point or anything... I don't know, like I said, like I said, I just don't remember enough about this game. I don't know if it's the sort of thing where, like, you're expected to lose every once in a while, but that's okay because you level up as you go, or do I just really suck at the game? I'm probably taking things too quickly. I should probably be trying to, like, murder the small groups and help my troops move forward little bits at a time. Should probably be doing something more along those lines, honestly, but. See, like, they just keep coming if we do that. If we just run past them and get to the heart of it, then we don't have to worry about them respawning. Oh, shit, they made it through the, uh, the fallen rock mountain place? Good for them. I see health. Let's go. Not much health, but it's health. Where's Gate Captain? You're a dick, Gate Captain. Let's go! Is that another save? Or no, that's defense, isn't it? Yeah, that's defense. I mean, more defense is always good. Alright, we need to, like, clear a way out of here and then get the hell out of here. B65. That's all we need. Uh, We can keep them in front of us. Should be a lot easier to not die, basically. Oh, 
I'm too far ahead, draw back. Bro, then just come up this way. Like, what is stopping you from coming up this way? Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm coming back. I swear to God, if they take this spot back because you guys are idiots. Ooh, axe. That's only a temporary attack, yeah, but still. Attack is attack. Temporary or no. I don't really want to move, like, any farther that way. I do want to be going back this way now. Because uh, I guess I have to, like, help them with whatever little skirmish is going on down here. To get them to move forward more. And I'm trying to get all the way around so we can close these gates. Oh, wait, did they deal with it? Oh, hell yeah, I think they dealt with it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're moving up now. Although... They're moving up the wrong direction. Oh, no, okay. Here we go. We got... A very small force of our own coming. But good, because we need somebody up here to keep this uh, gate. No. Come on, dude. Drop me something for 400 kills. 50 health, that's it? Give me a full refill, man. Give me some slack. We should be coming up, yeah, on the other gate. I wonder if we can sneak behind this guy. Probably not. I would love to just close the gate and not deal with the big bad right now. I figure, like, if we cut him off from behind... And he doesn't have his reinforcements. And it should be easier to kill him. Sort of thing. Oh, good. We got one of our generals coming. Granted, he's almost dead, but still. Right, I guess I don't actually know ranks. I'm calling it general, but... This dude that I'm fighting here is apparently a general. Lee Lee, what's up? <gasps> 100 health. Okay, it's not full health, but it's health. I'll take it. Oh, shit, I missed your message. Nate, you did good by the side stuff, but not the right ones. Oh, wait, no, I did read it. Never mind. <laughs> I take it back. I read your message. All right, fight. All right, so we can just let him deal with that. I still want to... Just sneak in the back here and cut off the reinforcements. That's, like, my main goal. Is, yeah, gate captain. Nice. Okay, the gate is ours. So all these guys that were queuing up are going to come in, but then no more will come through this gate. Okay, our general, whatever, has had his forces scattered, which sucks, but we're right here. We can help. Uh, I don't appreciate being hit, though, dude. Where is he? I can't see in this mess of people. Is this? Okay, this is him. Oh, well, he disappeared. Bro, I swear to God, if you get the kill on him, this is my kill. Thank you very much. I hope it's square. Yes, it's square. Get fucked. I killed him. He's mine. Defense plus two. Let's go. 
big boost to our morale for that too. Okay, I need to get out of like all the middle of these people though, cause I'm gonna end up dying. Ooh, more health. Give me, give me health, please. I really like the side of this mountain. It's pretty. That's why I keep staring at it so much. Where are you running, guy? Why are you running down the hill? You know what? Doesn't matter. Let's, uh... Okay, I can let them deal with... Oh, good. They closed one of the gates. I can let them deal with whatever stragglers are around here. Where'd he go? Oh, was he literally running away? Anyways, we should go close the other gates over here is what I was trying to say. And just fuck this guy in particular. I, I wanted him dead for running away. Apparently there's some contention back there. Um, hopefully our troops don't lose. It should be fine. I mean, technically, we probably don't need to close the gate. We could probably just run up and deal with the main dude now at this point. But, like, <laughs> Sims? I think Lili wants us to play Sims one of these days. I think. Do you have enough points for a times 25 yet? You gotta be getting close. You don't really spend points all that often. Well, I guess you do actually spend a good bit because of the hydrates constantly, but whatever. Oh, wait, are they rushing in? Well, don't die. Nowhere close to it. Oh, got to be in stream more. <laughs> Uh, bro's got magic too. Everybody around here's got magic, except for us, apparently. Oh, uh, his morale's dropping though. Get fucked, dude. If we keep following the path around, we'll get to the last gate. Closing the last gate means no reinforcements, except for yeah. There's one gate behind the the big bed. Drop? No drop. There isn't like... Okay, well, there's no options, I guess. I was gonna see if there was an option to, like, pull the camera back, even if it was just a little bit. Wow, damn. There's, like, so many people here that are almost dead. Like, one hit away. What has been going on up here? I guess this has just been like a big contested spot for a while. I think he did just pick a defense up up, which is kind of rude that he can even do that. I'm the player character. I'm the only one that should be able to pick things up that are helpful. One stream of his constant hydrates and forcing the dragon to breed. That's so rude. The dragon doesn't want to breed 20 times a day. Once a day. That's all the dragon needs to breed. Oh no, give me that health. Give me that health. Unstun me, you bastard. I want the health. <laughs> Oh, good job. You killed 50 people. <laughs> I'm at 451. Get wrecked, you loser. Do you guys really just, like, chill over here until every single person's dead? Is that why you're so slow to, like, progress forward? It is. Wow. Okay. Okay. No wonder I'm constantly, like, getting my ass kicked, though, because I'm just running past dudes left and right, getting left behind. <laughs> Don't forget about the coins. 
coins are a lot cheaper to buy than than forcing the dragon to breed and you can use the coins for anything with the uh with the dragon whether you want to feed him you know the nice thing to do breed him the less nice thing to do or force him to fight for your pleasure you know whatever you want Ooh, health. Gimme. The only thing this game is missing, honestly, is I do wish I had some sort of lock on. If it just had some sort of way to lock on to whoever you're fighting, it would be perfect. I mean, perfect's a strong word, but it would be really, really good. Sense of scale is just, they got it, man. I don't know what the first game's like. Is the first game for PS1? I'm guessing it would have to be, right? Because, like, this is PS2, and this is early PS2. And it's Dragon... Uh, or Dynasty Warriors 2. Like... Who are you guys so focused on that isn't me? I think you've made a mistake. <laughs> Oh, I guess the horde of people. Okay, that's fair. I'm much more dangerous than the horde of people is, but if there was one dude coming at me or a horde of people IRL, I would probably care more about the horde. So, fair, I guess. It was just the one dude running towards a horde. I would be like, okay, this dude's a dumbass. But then, you know, seeing the actual horde... That would, uh, possibly scare me a little bit. I shouldn't have picked up that full heal. Where's this gate? I'm not actually trying to find the dude right now. I'm just trying to find the gate. But I think the dude and the gate might both be up here. Which is a little scary. Oh, dude. Somebody's up here. Is he fighting Big Bad? No, he's fighting Gate Captain. We had the same idea. Kill the gate captain. I do also really wish we could turn the camera. That would also be very helpful. I'm the great and wise teacher, Zhang Zhao. Good for you. Oh shit, you're here. <laughs> I'm not trying to fight you. I'm just trying to fight the gate captain. I didn't even know you were over here. Where is the gay captain, man? I mean, if we kill him, I guess we just win, but like, he's scary. Oh my God, all these dudes are scary right now. I didn't see, did we get a message about the clearing the gate? I don't think we did. Hey, there you go, somebody bred Bo. And it's Noodle's favorite look for Bell. Let me up, let me up. Fuck this dude. How did you get a 200 health refill? That is bullshit, sir. Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna fucking die. I just wanted the 50 life refill. That's all I wanted. How do you keep getting oh, all recovered? Bro. Get fucked. I thought you said gay captain. Yes. Gay captain is exactly what I'm looking for right now. Where are you, gay captain? I've been searching for you all my life. Captain of the gays. How do you keep healing, you fuck? Oh my, oh my god, what? How did he fall? Somebody's gonna steal, steal my kill, dude, and I'm gonna be pissed. 
Get fucked. <laughs> so that should be GG for us then. My spirit will never die. Yeah, okay. Get wrecked, bitches. <laughs> skip the replay? No, we don't need to skip the replay. Who's us? Who are we? Can we see us? I don't think we're actually on the, like, officers list, though, are we? No. I don't think so, at least. Oh, we're probably the green dude. I'm guessing. Look at us going around murdering all these fools. Bojong, dead. Getting that gate. Did we get that gate? I don't know. I'm <laughs> I might have missed that gate, but... It's fine, bro. I, I literally just, like, skipped everybody in the middle of it all of a sudden. <laughs> no wonder we were getting our asses kicked there for a bit. Oop. <laughs> just wandering around like a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. So bad. There you go. It's fine. They took out Gao Shang. Shang. There we go. And then I started finding people. Or not. Nope, I was just going for the gates. I didn't care about the captains at all. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there was a captain over there? Oh, well, I found him at some point. Unit officer, that's what they're called. Okay. And then after this, we just... Oh... Why did his morale go up so much? Is he the one? He must be... Oh, you can't see my mouse. He must be the one that I'm at right now. The one that's, like, using the, the wind to block us or whatever. That must have been him there. And we just ran back and forth a little bit. It's so weird that we had all these unit officers just chilling down there, though. Like, why did they not join the battle? It would have made things a hell of a lot easier if they actually helped the fight instead of just not <laughs> doing anything. Yeah, and same thing, then Zhang Liang did, like, his little rock magic, which got his morale up super high. Which I guess we could have pushed through, because whoever the dude behind where it says morale on the yellow turbans, he got through it somehow. Because by the time we got up there, he was already up there. But I don't get why... Hmm. Yes, yes, sorry, I didn't see that you asked the question, love. I did feed Charlotte. And then we killed that dude. And then we just went up here and killed the last dude. I wish it would show us, like, who runs what gate or whatever. But for some reason, it doesn't show us that. Alright, we don't need to see the last little bit. Were the opponents? A lot of them. Get wrecked, all of you. Chocobo, what's up, man? Hello, hello. <coughs> My voice hurts a little bit. Special minus 300. Why minus 300? Hmm. Oh, I get like my own personal guards? Two of them. And I'm a fourth foot general. <laughs> Bruh, I killed literally like nine times, eight times more than any unit general or whatever the fuck they were called. Unit leader. And I'm only a fourth foot general. <laughs> I also killed the majority of the ge uh, generals here. Oh my god. <laughs> the malnutrition at the fourth foot. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. I killed 515 compared to the next dude's 71. I should be the 12th foot general or something. I don't know. I don't know how their ranking systems work. We cannot overlook the tyranny of Dong Zhuo. The time has come to destroy this traitor. Right shall prevail. Attack! I wonder, is the story different for, like, each character or just each, like, clan? Probably each clan, huh? 
<laughs> Maximum time, 100 minutes. Um, ooh, okay. This is a land and a half here. Uh, I do not like this map. Conditions. The defeated Dong Zhao. Zhu? Dong Zhu. What's the background? The Give me the story. Against the yellow rebels was successful. However, the hard won peace was short lived. Emperor Ling died, and the land was once again plunged into war. Third Emerald run today. I'm guessing your Nuzlocke didn't go well. One man clawed his way to the top during this time of turmoil. His name was Dong Jiu. Dong Jiu. Okay. Dong I'll forget that, but. The armies and enlisted as his personal bodyguard, the fierce Lu Bu. Secure in this power, he began his own despotic rule. I feel like I remember the name Lu Bu for some reason. Loyalists determined to end the depravity of Dong Jiu. They gathered their forces into a strong alliance and chose Yuan Xiao to lead them. In 191, the two forces met at the impregnable mm. Hulao Gate. The battle to save the Han was once again about to begin. See, that's why, personally, I would say it's fine if you... You're thinking of Ubu? <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I think, personally, I would say it's probably fine if, like, you had an HM sleeve or something. Like, I think, I don't think progress locking should be a thing. Necessarily. I guess that's one nice thing about the newer games, is you don't really have to worry about HMs anymore. Although Nuz locking a game where like you can see everybody is kind of weird. Oh hey, we got a horse. Who are we fighting? We're fighting the purple people this time. Okay. How do I get off the horse? I do not want the horse. Okay, where... HM should be trainer tools. That would be really cool. Yeah. If that was the case. That's... I personally like the way they handled it and, um... Which one was it? The Alola? I forget. Sun and Moon. Like, I like... I still like the idea of, like, getting badges that let you do certain things, you know, but... Like, surfing or... Climbing waterfalls or pushing boulders or whatever sort of shit. But I hate having to give up moves for them. And again, from the standpoint of like a nuzlocke the idea of progress locking is just <laughs> absolute garbo God, okay the camera's really not great is it How's it feel losing to a four-foot general? That's why my team this round is much better. That's good, I guess. Gotta keep it positive, right? What is your team this time, so far at least? Obviously, that can change as time progresses, but... I wonder if my bodyguards get kills. <laughs> Do their kills count as my kills? They totally should. Get fucked, Wang, Wang Fang. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to fuck the Wang Fang. I take it back. <laughs> That doesn't sound fun. Don't like being permanently stuck in a game. I prefer when I'm not, but you know, to each their own and all that. Uh, 
Oh, they're trying to run away. I literally just chased them down to murder them, even though they're, like, running. Also, my bodyguards suck. They're, they're already dying. You know, you want the Wang Fang? That sounds absolutely terrible. I do not want anything to do with the Wang Fang. That's like that uh, Tooth Fairy movie, but in reverse, you know? Instead of the uh, the tooth vagina, it's <laughs> just a wang thing. <laughs> Despicable. That's that's absolutely foul. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I wish the drop rates were a little higher for health. I mean, it'd probably make the game too easy. To be fair, but we do not get much in the way of health. Ooh, what is that? A Muso full for 10 seconds? Too bad there's like nobody around here. <laughs> there you go, get fucked, random private. Are there any other goodies around here? There's another box here. Life recovery plus 100? That's more like it, dude. Why is nobody killing these dudes up here? Can your pathfinding not figure this this out? Stairs too too complicated? Are you running away? Okay. That side's dealt with. Um Let's go to the next gate and then maybe we'll like backtrack if we decide we need to. Naughty Alistair 96 just redeemed reverse. Reverse. Honestly, I don't think reverse reverse will be too bad in this game. Because the only buttons that really matters is the attack button and every once in a while circle to use like the special attack. I don't think that'll be too bad. Oh shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wasted that special real quick though. I thought it was square. You thought we'd be taking a backseat if you can get Shroomish? Hell yeah. Wait, did you say? Oh, there it is. Mudkip, Poochiana, Seedot, Tailo, and Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon's pretty sick for the item pickups, but... you I'm assuming you're using the no healing items in battle, though. Or are you doing no healing at all? Like, no healing items at all, that is. Exactly what I did on this one. Figure it wouldn't be bad, but funny. Yeah, it's not bad. We can handle it in this one. I don't honestly mind reverse reverse all that much. I definitely prefer not having it happen like in that God of War fight that took us 30 minutes yesterday. Or not yesterday, a couple days ago. I definitely prefer like not having to deal with it then and those sorts of times. But just for like normal games, you know, that are a normal level of challenge or whatever. Honestly, it's kind of fun sometimes to add a little bit of extra challenge. Took everything not to do it for the laws. Yeah, Chocobo had the same problem. <laughs> I was expecting it, though, to be honest with you, the whole time. Like, I was more surprised that it didn't happen than anything. Oh my god, I just want to pick my defense up, please. Movement's kind of a bitch right now. I'll give you that. Attacking's not too bad, but moving, moving is a pain. Berries only, okay. I wanted you to beat the game. I too wanted to beat the game real bad. But then of course we had to get stuck on another section and just, yeah, it was a bad time. Uh, bad time's wrong. It was, I had a ton of fun, but. I was struggling though. I'm considering whenever we get around to playing God of War 2, playing on normal mode instead of jumping straight into hard. But I am tempted to do hard mode again. Whenever we eventually play God of War 2018 though, that one we're definitely playing on normal mode. No questions asked about that. I tried jumping straight into that game on hard mode and I got my ass kicked whenever it first came out. So yeah, that one's not even up for debate. God of War 2, though, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I kind of want to do hard mode again, but... 
Oh, in 2018? Or... I think you're talking about 2018. But... It is. <laughs> it really, really is. Whether you're talking about 2018 or not, it's fucking terrible. <laughs> terrible in, like, a good way, you know? Challenging way. 2018, okay. But, like, fuck me, man. I was just thinking, you know, oh yeah, I played all the other God of War games on the hardest difficulty. This one can't be that much worse, right? No. <laughs> I was 100% wrong. It is so much worse, man. Oh, speaking of Shadow, since, uh... This is another PS2 game, and it is a complete in-box PS2 game, or just a boxed PS2 game in general. Um, I will be adding a new game to the list to roll from, probably tonight. So I have a small stack of them that I need to get added to the list over here. Um, and I have Shadow on top, just for you, Nate. So we'll probably be playing Shadow here in the next uh, couple of days, because I know you have, like a lot of votes on it. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but it's up there. Okay, I wasn't really worried about the upside down controller at first, but now that we're dying? Or is it is it done? Has it been five minutes? Four minutes, son of a bitch. Okay, we're fine. We could just get a little more health, please, sir. Somebody's morals dropping. Well, you're, like, all the way over there. Oh, God. And there's a big dude. No, I can't fight the big dude right now. Fall back. Fall back. Okay, five minutes up. Thank God. All right. Um, Where'd big dude go? I really wish our big move did more just straight damage, man. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die. Oh shit, okay. Get him, get him. Life recovery, let's go. I need to look at the manual too. To see like, how do we guard? Because, like, the enemies can guard, so I'm sure there's some way for us to do it. Okay, yeah, we need to run away. Fall back, hope for a health pickup from anybody. Please, or a save game. Attack times two. I mean, attack times two is nice. No, no. I want to do a 100% run of Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, but ever since it came out for PC, I was like, well, then I might as well just do my 100% run on PC, but the, the game never released off of Epic, so then I never ended up picking it up, and yeah, because that was my plan, was to do Yozora on my 100% run, <clears throat> but I never got to it, because, yeah, because <laughs> when I fought him on my normal run... He ended up being such a pain in the ass, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to level to damn near max in order to, like, realistically beat this dude. Uh, so I was like, well, that's why I decided I might as well do it on my 100% run. But then, yeah. Like I said, never got around to it, though. One of these days. That didn't despawn, did it? Oh, that despawned. You don't think levels matter much, for real? He doesn't, like, scale or anything, right? I mean, if that's the case, I technically still have, like, my old save on the PS4. I could pick it up again and try. I'd have to relearn how to play 3, because it's been a while, you know, since shortly after it came out. The DLC came out, that is. Because I did play through the DLC, I just never did the uh, Yozora fight at the end of the game. The secret boss stuff. Do I still have my bodyguards, or did they die? I don't remember seeing a message about them dying, but... 
Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lot of dudes over here. Okay, falling back a little bit. Why are you all chilling back there? Get your asses up here and help us fight, bro. Just a memorize everything fight. <laughs> but by having more levels, it would be a little more lenient, right? Because, like, more health and shit. Is there a big bad over here? There is. That's bad for me. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're gonna... Why is there so many generals so close? Oh, God. I'm running the wrong way. I'm running into the enemy front. Not away. Nope. <laughs> getting out. Getting out. Uh, this is still the wrong way. God damn it. This way. Oh, God. Yeah, right through literally everyone. That's where we want to be going. Helps, but negligible. Uh, that's kind of scary, honestly. <laughs> it was a hard fight, man. I don't... I, I honestly don't remember, like, anything about it. I was going to say, I don't think I ever got more than, like, halfway through it. But even even that's a uh, literally just a guess, you know. I'm not sure if I even got a quarter of the way through it. And I need some health, please, or a save point or anything. Problem is, I think we've gotten like all the collectibles. It's too bad, like our horse doesn't follow us. That would be a much quicker way to move around. Hey, congrats on securing the gate, random people. I'm going to go help on the... Uh, that's north, so eastern front there. <laughs> Maybe I can find some chests or something. This part of the game, not particularly fun. The rest of it, though, man, I don't know what it is about Dynasty Warriors. I just enjoy the hell out of these games. So I think it's just the... <laughs> the mass murder that's just, you know, so much fun. <laughs> just fighting giant hordes of people. Okay, so we've never been down this path before. So do we have any... I thought the music broke there. Is there any chests or anything anywhere around here? Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. That's a big fucking battle there in the middle of the map. No, nothing. Okay, well, maybe this one random dude over here that's being slowly beaten. Maybe he'll drop something for us. Please? Uh, useless? I'm glad, I'm glad he dropped something, but bruh. It was literally already full. The item that you dropped for us. <laughs> getting progressively existential um i used the bard ai from google to generate them this time and uh, i've just been going down the list of them and just literally like straight down the list no no filtering or anything really and uh well hi guy Anyways, this is like the hypothetical section, is, is what Bard called it. Stop running outside the gate! I can't go out there! Enemy ambush. Great. Well, we might figure out what happens when you die. HQ is in trouble? Oh, God. Bro, how are you not dying, gay captain? You have infinite defense? Oh, 
I'm waiting for somebody to drop like a shit ton of health, but for it to be outside the gate. Okay, and we'll grab our defense up. So I'm still working under the assumption that if we die, we get to keep all of our uh, bonuses and like stat bonuses. Health, health. <laughs> Anyways, well, what's the question of the day? The world is ending in 24 hours. What do you do with your remaining time? Um, I mean... Honestly, if I knew the world was ending in 24 hours, my panic disorder probably wouldn't let me do much of anything useful. But, um, just spending time with loved ones, you know? Try to just have a normal, but hopefully good day. Go and visit my mom, my sister, my brother. Spend as much time with Noodle as possible, of course. Shit like that. In reality. It's presumably, it's not, like, something that can be solved. You know, like, it's just... It's happening, and <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. Has anybody here watched The Last of Us or not watched The Last of Us series? There's a couple characters on there that know a day is going to be their last day. And uh, that's pretty much how I think I'd want to spend mine, you know? Does everyone know or just you? What, the about The Last of Us? Oh, the the end of the world thing. I, I imagine it as like one of those things like a meteor's about to hit the world sort of thing, you know? So, like, everybody knows. Bruh, I was about to be so mad with that health. That's how I imagine it, at least, but obviously I, I have no idea. Okay, so if we, from here, work our way up back up towards the center, I guess. And just hope that the center can hold. I'm worried about the, like, northernmost edge there. Cause like that battle's not looking great, but the world out. Yeah, yeah. I figured that's what you meant. It just took me a second. I'm kind of an idiot if you didn't know. <laughs> but like I said, I'm assuming though it's like one of the there's a Naughty meteor about Alice to hit the world. Everybody's gonna die. Hydrate. Sort of situations. Oh my god. I hope my throat doesn't get any worse Naughty tomorrow. Naughty Alice to 96 just redeemed stretch. Stretch. Naughty Alistair says stretch. Oh, fuck. Since you're clearly here, Naughty Alistair, what are you doing at the end of the world, man? Hey, a five stream streak. Nice, man. Everyone knows then spend time with loved ones. If only I know I'm going to bed. That's, I mean, that's a pretty fair point, though. Like, if you somehow were the only one to know, would you really want to put that on everyone else, though? Or just let them, you know, go peacefully into the night sort of thing? Just keeping it to yourself would probably be the better thing. Although, I think I would still try to spend as much time as possible with my loved ones, you know? before the world ends just do it in a way where it's not like super obvious that like i mean honestly this is getting a little deep but they would probably think that i'm about to off myself or something you know if i just suddenly like showed up trying to spend time and being all love you with my family and shit because that's just not really me generally speaking so they would know something was up if i didn't like do it super casually somehow, but, you know. But you don't want to spill the beans, because, yeah. I think it'd be much better to go peacefully into the night. I guess it also depends on how the world's going to end, though. Like, if it's going to be some catastrophic, terrible event, <laughs> then, you know, I guess letting people prepare might be the nice thing to do. But if it's like the entire earth is going to be vaporized and everybody's just going to go painlessly or whatever, then yeah. Painlessly and instantly. 
And yeah, just let them let them have that bliss for the last 24 hours of not knowing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I guess that's an option? I don't know if I like it as an option, but I guess it is technically an option. Also, we're definitely gonna die now. Yup, there it is. Guan Yu defeated. So what happens? Do we keep our... Like, defense ups and stuff that we grab? Okay, we don't need the replay. We lost. No, we just get game over? Is that it? It's literally, it's just game over. Just fuck you. Wow, okay. That's crazy. That was on normal. I'm gonna put it on easy mode just because we're like... I guess we still have a half hour left. But a half hour might not even be long enough to get through one whole story mode. One whole story mission, whatever. So free mode, you just get a replay. Okay. The ones that you've already done. That's cool. Oh, I can't undo. I'm going to go back to the menu. Brad lets you. <laughs> what? I shall not fail. <laughs> it lets you go back to mission select. It doesn't let you go back to the main menu, though. That makes no sense. The camp I don't need the background. One man. Dong Fight. I was really hoping that, like, you still got to level up and shit like that. That would have been cool. Of course, I still don't even know for sure if your shit carries over. I'm guessing it's just your rank, and as you rank up, your skills go up or whatever. But, like, all the items we pick up that increase our um, defense and shit, I'm assuming that stuff doesn't stay in. What's your special? This guy's a lot faster, which is nice. I mean, I kind of expected that. But what's your special attack, dude? That's what I'm really curious about. Because I feel like that other dude's just kind of sucked. Come here, Wang Fang. Okay, so either Wang Fang just sucks, or in easy mode, people just don't guard. I guess either one's a possibility. There we go. He'll make some super strong herb brownies. Nice. Okay. Yeah, honestly, that's a lot better. Because it doesn't, like, knock people back. Because that's what really sucked about the dude we were just playing, is how he just, like, pushes people away from him. So it makes it really hard to do, like, large amounts of damage to any single character. It's more about just, like, clearing people. Or, like, pushing people away from you. But, of course, they all just run right back. That's how their AI works, so... <laughs> Not great. I don't want to... Sucks that I'm in this mode. How do we even quit? Private. Enemies. Allies. Conditions. Is it possible to quit? <laughs> Once you're in a fight? Well, you can soft reset, I guess. Um... Does new game overwrite the old game? I wouldn't mind trying, like, just somebody completely different. Like, somebody that uses a sword instead of a spear or something. Maybe Zhao Dun, or maybe a little dude with a sword. Zhao Yu.
<clears throat> okay, so it's the same, but we start in a different spot? It looks like? Yeah. I mean, I kind of expected that. But I was hoping it would be a little bit different. I'm also curious if you can have more than one save or if it's just the one save. So you have to play through like a character's entire campaign before you can do another one. Although, I guess, again, there may only actually be like one campaign. I don't know for sure how it works in this one. The manual might tell more, but... Do I look like somebody that reads the manual? I gotta remember I'm still on easy mode, so it's not quite fair difficulty-wise. Oh, you're a friendly. <laughs> Oops. You're not as fast as I thought you would be, to be honest. You're about the same as the, the small dude with the spear. Which leads me to believe, like, weapon type probably doesn't really matter. Another gate over here. We get a defense up every time we destroy a gate, so... Or a gate, uh, a gate guard. It's in our best interest, interest to find them and kill them before before the enemy does. Or not the enemy, the friendly troops do. Okay, yeah, so he does the same thing as the, the other dude does, but with this thing. Whatever kind of sword this is. So basically, it seems like you have two types of characters. You have heavy and you have light. And their weapon doesn't actually matter. I do wonder... One more thing, though, now that I have to check out. That lady that has the, the, like, circular weapons, does she fight any differently? Or does she fall into the same category of light or heavy? Optijack, what's up, man? How's it going, brosive? How was your wonderful stay at, a uh, place of employment? And Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Alright, um, dog shit, bruh, I refuse to believe it, there we go, okay, muso mode, I'm gonna try the lady, she's the only character that really like looks different different. Although I say that, like, would everybody that's in this clan be a heavy archetype? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's possible there's three archetypes per clan. Because we used him. Him. Or no, we didn't use him. We used that dude. This dude and this dude. This dude fights the same as that dude, just with a different weapon. What about you? How do you fight? New employer or new area? Uh, he's same. He's same employer, same area. He hasn't changed anything. He was supposed to, but he didn't. <clears throat> Why is it taking so long to load? What the fuck? Did it always take this long to load? Whatever, it made it. It figured it out eventually. You misheard. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, now he's doing the same shit he's been doing. Okay, her attack pattern's different at least. But is it actually, like, matter? Probably not. I'm assuming... Based off of... The shape of her weapons. 
that she doesn't have the same range that like a spear person would. Also, did her special just push everybody back like the one dudes did? Maybe she's like a mix of the two characters or something. Just fucking power walking. Uh, is it like, does she have the special of a heavy character, but the uh, attack speed of a light character? Hold on, I need to get in like a group. Here, come gangbang me, fellas. Come gather round. No, okay. Yeah. So she's more similar to the light, but not the exact same pack pattern. It is different, at least. And honestly, I don't think the... the, like, re weapon range really matters. She might be my favorite so far. Oh, fuck. I forgot my headphones were dying. What's the arrows actually like? We've only shot one, but we never shot anybody with it. Where's the yellow turbans at? Come here, yellow turbans. wonder if you get more item drops on the uh, harder difficulty. Wait, is there like auto-aim or something? Is that hitting? I can't tell if that's hitting. It's way too far away. There is auto-aim. Is he just, like, running away from it? <laughs> Bro, why would you... I guess, like, if somebody was, like, up in the, the rafters or whatever, the, the defenses, I guess maybe it'd be worth using arrows, but... Why would you ever use fucking arrows, though? Okay. Let's use this opportunity to figure out one more thing. Is there a way to guard? I don't think there is. Oh, wait. Circle. Or no, wait. Circle charges power. Duh. Definitely feels like it drops more shit on easy mode. Holding square is nothing. Holding triangle does special. X does that. Right stick does absolutely nothing. E pad's another form of movement. I mean, L1 puts us in like strafe mode. Does that count as like guarding as well? R1's that. R2 is that. Here, somebody attack me, please. Ah, okay. So whenever we go into strafe mode, that's also guarding. And you can attack in a guard. You just can't turn the camera. Okay. So that should make things a lot easier, actually. Interesting. Oh wait, we never actually killed the gate dude over here? I thought we did, or maybe we just lost it again already. I don't know, it doesn't look like we ever even took it. There you go, get fucked. I'm assuming we can't guard from the back, right? Attack me again. Yeah, no, okay. Guarding from the back doesn't work, so we need to keep them, like, in front of us. Also important to remember, these drops actually do despawn. Now that I know how guarding works, I'd probably be willing to play the game on uh, normal difficulty again. That would probably make fighting these dudes a lot easier, but emphasizes the importance of, like, clearing a group of people and not just rushing into the middle of them. 
Because obviously it's not, you know, you can't guard your back. And there is no lock-on onto, like, a specific character or anything, so you're just kind of looking at what you're looking at, and that's it. What time is it? It's 2.47. It's a little early, but, like, there's no way we get through another mission, though. I guess we'll try another character. Then. Once I find where my fucking charger is. Oh, you know what? I had plugged in my controller. Uh, so, BRB. Okay, you're, you're zappy boy. What are you? You're just like shotgun dude? Also, the X button is shoot, by the way. <laughs> Which, for a first or third person shooter, really kind of sucks. Because you can't really aim. And back. Yeah, like, so far it still feels like there's not really much of a difference between the character, like, a, uh, appreciable difference, you know? Let's try either... Let's try Axe, dude, because his fucking shield, his horse head shield... Because we have Spear Dude, different Spear Dude, different Spear Dude... All of the green clan is spears. Blue clan, <laughs> sword, axe, mace. And then red clan, we have sword, dual sword, whatever the rings are called. But these two, we've done. This will at least let us try like one from each clan, I guess. And there really is no difference, is it? So we're only the good guys versus the bad guys. We just start in a slightly different spot each time. Hmm. Okay. I was hoping we could play from, like, the other side. <clears throat> Maybe that's a uh, new game plus. Chocobo enthusiast just redeemed vote on a game X25. 3, 4, 12 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised it actually like reads out the times, but I guess that's probably just what the emojis are called. Or the emotes are called, whatever they are. Or no, those are emojis, huh? Weird. Oh, dude, we just, like, rammed him. Yeah, he feels more or less the same as the other heavy dude does. Maybe... What's your power attack? Yeah, I mean, I guess there is some difference, right? Saying there's no difference isn't really fair, but it doesn't seem to really matter. Yeah, it is cool that it reads the times. Like I said, I'm wondering if that's just, like, internally, internally what the emotes are called. And that's why it reads the times. Okay. <laughs> and it seems like everybody has a better special than the dude we were playing. The dude we were playing is the only one that had a special that pushes everybody away from him. Meaning he does a very limited amount of damage when using his special. I wonder how the game simulates simulates the fights when you're not around. Because it's clear that it, like, loads in people as you get closer. Because you can see them, like, spawning in sometimes. So I wonder if it just does it on, like, a smaller scale. You know? But, like, keeping ratios relative? Or if it's just full cheating? Like, it's not actually simulating anything at all, or it's just simulating it on a numbers level. And then whenever you arrive, it's just like, okay, these are what the numbers would be roughly, so we're going to throw some people in here to represent that. 
I actually really like his special, too. I like everybody's special, man. <laughs> Except for the guy we were fucking playing. I just picked the worst character to actually try and do anything with. Punchbob globs, okay. Globs it is, love. I will get your votes in. <laughs> or... Sucks there's no other game mode either. It's just... <clears throat> it's just this or... Uh... Or this. <laughs> it's this but story mode. Or this but you can pick which story mission you play through. That's some, that's some solid AI there, running straight into that wall. Can you get off your fucking horse? Where'd he go? There you go. Deaded. Wait, is it for real? Like, 100%? I was wondering how they made that work, because the first Dynasty Warriors is a uh, PS1 game, right? <laughs> So ever since then, they just had them be, damn. But yeah, because I like looking at this, I was like, there's no way, man. Honestly, even though the game doesn't look that great from like a, the character models don't look terrible for a PS2 game. They look like early PS2 character models, but this is an early PS2 game. <clears throat> but the world, the environment art is kind of trash, right? Like very low resolution textures, very basic buildings and things dotted about, and not a ton of them at that even. But still having hundreds of people running around all attacking at the same time and stuff, and thousands across the entire map, still really impressive. But there was no way. The PS1 has like so little memory, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't, I'm sure there's some sort of programming wizardry that would technically make it possible, but damn. Now I have to pick it up for the PS1 just so I can experience it, see what it's like. Ooh, Super Monkey Ball, good pick, love, good pick. Oh, damn, okay, my throat's starting to <laughs> really bug me in. I'm thinking it's all the talking. Yeah. I think we're pretty much going to call it, guys. It's a few minutes early. My throat's starting to bother me. I think I just need to rest it for a bit. I mean, the first and second one in Japan have slightly different names. They only added numbers starting with three in American, which is two in Japan. What? So, Chocobo Enthusiast just redeemed Hydrate. Help me understand here a little bit. So, the th Dynasty Warriors... what uh, Dynasty Warriors 1... Dynasty Warriors 3 is Dynasty Warriors 2 in Japan. So, what's Dynasty Warriors 2 in American? Oh, I see, I see. I see what you're saying now. <clears throat> So it was like Dynasty Warriors and then like Dynasty Warriors uh, versus or something. I don't know the name, so I just made something out up. But in Japan. Ugh. So then whenever they brought it to America, though, instead of using the subtitle on the name, they just called it Dynasty Warriors 1 and Dynasty Warriors 2. Is what you're saying, I think. Didn't know Super Monkey Ball was on PS2. You played the hell out of it on GameCube. Yeah, dude. I fucking love uh, Monkey Ball. Honestly. And yeah, it's on... Uh, I think it's on all three. Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. I'm pretty sure. I know it's on PS2 and uh, GameCube at least. Because, yeah. Might as well take this moment to go through the list for anybody who hasn't seen it in a little while. Make it a little easier on Noodle and whatnot as well. Even though I can see there's <laughs> a couple anonymous people on there. <clears throat> Noodle 519 just redeemed vote on a game X25. Super Monkey Ball. 
I know you're looking at the list, but <clears throat> I figured it'd still make it a little easier for you. We have Ace Combat 4, Ark the Lad, uh, a couple games I don't really know. Artist Collection, The Dog Island, looks kind of like Pets Dogs too, but I don't know anything about it though. Brothers in Arms, more Cabela's games, but who cares. Crazy Taxi, which is pretty cool. Sure All Humans 2, pretty cool. Devil May Cry 3, of course, pretty cool. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Dynasty Warriors 3. Oh my god, love. <laughs> I guess you gotta burn your points on something. Nudlo519 just redeemed vote on a game X25. Dog Island. Of course it would be that one too. Um Evergrace looks pretty cool. Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh ba 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 ba. Oh yeah. <laughs> Less of a chance, Nate, that we're gonna be playing Shadow the Hedgehog now though. Uh <laughs> <laughs> on next stream still a chance but less of a chance because we're, we're gonna be adding shadow the hedgehog tonight uh harry potter and goblet of fire ice age iron man cow the kangaroo which is a game that i want to play we still have a mortal kombat game that we never did deadly alliance we got naruto all of the nickelodeon games that noodle was voting on onimusha 2 samurai's destiny and warlords <clears throat> Prince of Persia, the last one. We haven't played that yet. The sequel to Red Faction, Scooby-Doo, Shepherd's Crossing, which I think is something like Harvest Moon, but different. It's a game I've been wanting to play. Shimagami Tensei, Smuggler's Run, which is a uh, take two. Rockstar, Rockstar game. Um, Soul Calibur 2, that's a hell of a fighting game. couple Star Wars games, Super Monkey Ball, of course. Bard's Tale, which is a game I've always been interested in. Sims 2, which is what Lele keeps voting on. You had Shepherd's Crossing? Did you for real? I've never actually played it before. <clears throat> How was it? <laughs> like, so I've never actually played I didn't even know you had it, man. I've heard of it. I've seen it. But yeah. Uh, Sims 2, Time Splitters, which looks pretty cool. Bunch of Tom Clancy's games, which are meh. Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds, a uh, ton of fun. Trigger Man, which looks like shit. <laughs> Virtua Fighter 4, whatever. Couple poker games, and YS the Ark of uh, Nepotism? Nepotism? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, that's a uh, RPG series that I've been wanting to try for a long time. Never, uh, never played it before, <laughs> like at all. Um, I own a couple of them on Steam though. I don't remember which ones. Steam, open Steam, library, YS, oh god, that, <laughs> okay, well, that didn't sort too well, one and two, I have one and two, I'm assuming they're like remasters or something, but I've never played them, it's very different, <laughs> but it is still like a farming game, right? Regardless, I still want to try it one of these days, yeah. Got it in Christmas back in 09. Don't remember a lot because the disc got scratched to hell and back within a year. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, hold on, I'll grab it. On top. Eh, it must be in the bottom of the box. I'm not going to worry about digging it out, but it looks pretty decent. Take it easy, Chocobo. Thank you for stopping out, man. I'm getting off in just a minute anyways. After tonight. I'll be adding Shadow the Hedgehog tonight, but after that... Every time we play, or not play, but every time we, uh... Yeah, every time we play a PS2 game, I'll be adding one of these other games. Because I have a stack of PS2 games that I haven't gotten added to the list yet. We have uh, Castlevania, Lament of Innocence, which uh, should be pretty cool. Innocent Life, which is a Harvest Moon spinoff that I uh, really want to play and finish because I've played it a bit when I was younger, but not much. Chaos Legion, which is a really cool Devil May Cry-esque looking game. Um, excited for that one. Shrek Super Slam, which apparently is a really good like fighting game. Shrek Smash and Crash, which is a apparently really shitty racing game. <laughs> 
Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, which, I mean, you know, it's Tony Hawk. <laughs> Army Men, Soldiers of Mich Misfortune, which... Optijack, I know we used to play some Army Men games back in the day. I don't know if you've ever seen these ones before, though, or this one before, but it looks terrible. <laughs> it does not look good at all. Which Shrek love, or do you care? Cause like I'm gonna I'm gonna end up forgetting which one to be honest with you anyways, but yeah, you don't care, okay? Yeah, it look oh god damn it the camera's not cooperating, but it does not look, it does not look good, man. There's an actual like kid in the picture, and then on the back there's like a dog general. I don't know if you can even see that on the camera or not because how small it is, but yeah, it doesn't look good. But anyways, we have that, we have Jeopardy, which I mean Jeopardy. And then we have the Herbs Sims in the City. Which, uh, I played a little bit of the Game Boy Advance one back in the day. But that's it. I've never played the official one. Uh, it says it supports the iToy USB camera. Hopefully it doesn't require it. I don't think it does. <clears throat> Hopefully not. But anyways, yeah. So I have all of those games to add still. Uh, every time we play a PS2 game. So if anybody wants to vote on any of them, you're more than welcome to. I'm not going to put it in at the inflated rate, though, for unowned games. So just warning you. But those are also games that can technically be voted on now. I just haven't gotten them added to the list because my box is full. That's legit the only reason why. So I have them like on my infinite backlog list as an owned game and marked in like my uh, price charting list and all that stuff. But... But yeah, I don't have them uh, on the list of games to vote on yet. Oh, fuck. Anyways, okay, guys. Just don't expect Harvest Moon. Fair enough, fair enough. Remember Army Men's Surge's War for the PS2 is pretty good? <clears throat> I honestly don't remember playing any of them on PS2, but I remember playing some of them on, like, the N64 and shit and having a great time with them. I think the uh, N64 ones were the better regarded ones, at least between, like, PS1 and and N64. But yeah. The PS2 one was oddly darker than the other ones. Probably trying to go more, you know, edgy for like the teen crowd and shit. Same thing, you know, that Sonic team had the idea of, which didn't end up going so well for them. I know some people, like Nate, have fond memories of the game. But from what I've seen, it's, uh, it's an okay game, but it's like quality control is ass so <laughs> you know little little hit or miss there i guess on it but all right i'm done talking guys thank you for coming and hanging out with me i do appreciate you guys um i'll be back in a couple of days as long as i'm not dying playing uh what are we playing sunday 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 morwin playing some more morwin trying to get through that uh, but having a lot of fun with it in the meantime. Thank you guys again for coming out. I, uh, yeah, don't know what I'm saying, what I'm doing. I'm dying. <laughs> Have a good night. Be kind to each other, y'all. Bye-bye. This game came out exactly, but I feel like just redeemed games like Call of Duty and whatnot probably had the controls down pretty well at this point for shooter games, you know? So the fact that they were just like, nah, we're not doing that is kind of annoying. I, I, I wish we could turn the camera! Oh my god, can you just die? All of you. You can't even like, uh, you can't even aim with like the left stick. Because while you're shooting, left stick goes from being aim to strafe. Oh no. Did they ruin Bionicles? By having some absolute Garbo controls? There's someone, like, up in the air shooting? Oh, hi. There is. <laughs>